My name is Andromed Uwase, but I go by Andy. I'm a second year Masters of Public Health student here at UNC and doing concentration in environmental health solution. My area of interest in research is definitely public health, uh, global health, international development, and uh, WASH, which is water, sanitation, and hygiene. Water is the uh, Water is life, that's what I can say. Everything that we do, we use water, drinking water, cooking, we use water. Um, even in irrigation, we use water to make sure that we get like, quality food. So I would say um, water is, it should be like the basic service humans should get. It should be like human right to get uh, water quality. And that's why I think it's connected to public service because uh, if I work in public service, it's their responsibility to make sure that everybody get access to water quality. Younger people improving water quality definitely can play a huge role, especially in raise, raising awareness. I would give an example for the young student that we trained. Our aim is for them to go back in their homes or in their communities and uh, let's say talk to their parents about like uh, test their water. For example, if I wake up in the morning and turn on my tap water and see that uh, it has like a weird smell or has like a weird car out because I got trained about that I will make sure that it get tested and I wouldn't know that if I wasn't trained. So the community engagement fellowship did support my work. Let's say communicating with your partner or make sure that uh, you are you are bringing or you are putting the community needs ahead of your like your uh, research priorities. It wasn't my first time working with community, but it was my first time working with the local communities here in North Carolina. So I needed that support from the engagement fellowship. I would like to thank the Community Engagement Fellowship for the opportunity and also I would uh, want to give a shout out to Equip Lab and the professors that I worked with, Dr. North Cross Amanda and Dr. Mike Fisher and our community partners living at Learning Youth Center and their uh, coordinator for the project there, Steli Jones. I'm grateful for them.